In Vajrayana Buddhism, the Adi Buddha, Tibetan, Dang Poi Sangs Arjas Wiley, Dang Poi Sangs Arjas, Thl, Dangpo Sangye, is the first Buddha, or the primordial Buddha. The term re-emerges in Tantric literature, most prominently in the Kalachakra. Adi means, first, such that the Adibuddha was the first to attain Buddhahood. Adi can also mean primordial, not referring to a person but to an innate wisdom that is present in all sentient beings. In Tibetan Buddhism, the term Adibuddha is often used to describe Samantabhadra, Vajradhara or Kalachakra. In East Asian Mahayana, the Adibuddha is typically considered to be Varokana. The Guhyasamaja Tantra says a Vajradhara, then Vajradhara, the teacher, who is bowed to by all the Buddhas, best of the three diamonds, best of the great best, supreme lord of the three diamonds. Alex Wayman notes that the Pratipadyotana, a tantric commentary, states that the three diamonds, are the three mysteries of body, speech, and mind. Wayman further writes, Song Ka Pa Makhan, Grell explains that Lord of Body, displays simultaneously innumerable materializations of body, Lord of Speech, teaches the Dharma simultaneously to boundless sentient beings each in his own language, Lord of Mind, understands all the knowable which seems impossible. According to the 14th Dalai Lama, the Adibuddha is also seen in Mahayana Buddhism as representation of the universe, its laws and its true nature, as a source of enlightenment and karmic manifestations and a representation of the Trikaya. Within the Nichiren school of Japanese Buddhism, the Nikko lineage, specifically the Soka Gakkai and Nichiren Shosha, regard Nichiren as the Adi primal, Buddha and dispute the contentions of other sects that view him as a bodhisattva.